Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the two-hand heavy club outside circle. Heavy club swinging is probably the best exercise that people can do for the money and for movement and health. This video is part of a big playlist of videos meant to be watched in order so you can learn heavy club swinging exercise technique at home, on your own, or wherever you have access to the internet. Heavy club swinging is one of the oldest forms of exercise known to man, and it is represented all throughout history in every culture that we know of. Heavy club swinging can be used to improve muscle development, muscle building, but it also works on your muscle chains because everything is a movement, not an exercise for a muscle. There really isn't a chest day in heavy club swinging, there are inside circles, which are the basic patterns of throwing, and there are outside circles, which you might think of as the basic patterns of, say, jabs in martial arts, but also outside throwing patterns. Practicing with a heavy club allows you to work all the muscles of your core, your glutes, your legs, and your breathing and your endurance all at the same time. In a previous video, we had talked about inside circles, two hands on a club, doing an inside circle movement. This is the opposite of that, an outside circle. Inside is defined as moving towards the center line of your body. Outside is your dominant hand moving away from the center line of your body. When people are new to training, it's not super apparent that they are different but they are in fact different. When you take away the bottom hand and you go to single hand club training, it will become inside cross pattern and outside jab pattern. The important part of this exercise is the setup, two feet pointed straight ahead because that is the way that we are supposed to walk, both forward and back. We do not need to turn out with this exercise at all. We don't need to have our feet wide. We should just have our feet directly underneath us. Heavy club swinging, returns people to good standing posture, which is one of the most important things that people need in the modern world. People in the modern world sit down all the time. They lose an ability to stand up properly. They turn out, their knees collapse in, their hips do not stack their spine, and 60% of the population because of that has low back pain. By pointing our feet straight ahead, this allows us to restack up our bones and put stress on all of them equally so you can get good at standing up again and then apply that to future athletic training. Two feet pointed straight ahead. The hand closest to the tip of the club is the dominant hand. The hand closest to the bottom or the knob of the club is the non-dominant or support hand. Pick up the weight. The order position is defined by the 90 degree angle of the arm. This would be the equivalent of the rack position in barbell, in dumbbell, or in kettlebell training. We have our hand at 90 degrees because that allows us to use our hand most effectively. If our hand is too high, we have a hard time using the top part of our hand. If our hand is too low, we have a hard time using the bottom part of our hand. 90 degrees allows us to use all of our fingers equally. Outside circle, rotate, top hand is going to move away from our center line. The cues are push, swing, pull, catch. Push, tip, swing, pull, catch, rotate back to center, stand all the way up. Rotate, start by sitting down without lifting that heel. Opposite hand, push with the opposite leg, push, swing, pull, catch. When you catch, you're going to catch with the same side hand. Rotate across. Opposite side leg. The movement comes from the heel up through the body, out through the shoulder, out through the hand. Push, swing, pull, catch. When you catch, it goes wrist down the arm, same side hip into the same side foot. Rotate across. Push, swing, pull, catch. Rotate, push, swing, pull, catch. Rotate, push, swing, pull, catch. Come back to center. Stand all the way up when you come back to center. To change hands, set it on the opposite shoulder without bashing your collarbone. Change your high hand. Change the hand closest to the tip of the club. Bring it to order position, 90 degrees in the arm. Two feet point straight ahead, check it every time. Rotate away from our center line. Opposite leg, push, 
push swing pull catch push swing pull catch push swing pull catch push swing pull catch and rotate back to center by straightening the leg at no point did the feet move everything moves except the feet in the beginning now let's demonstrate it with a heavier weight when we use a heavier weight all the movements become more apparent the most important cues are feet do not move and two elbows lock out as you swing across the bottom pick the club up catch 90 degrees in the arm elbows tight to the body rotate opposite side leg push swing pull catch rotate back to center push swing pull catch center across push swing pull catch center across push swing pull catch center set it on the opposite shoulder gently without slamming into your collarbone change your high hand top hand moves away from our center line rotate push swing pull catch center across 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 when you've completed your reps straighten both arms all the way out set the club down directly between the instep of your feet the inside circle and the outside circle are probably the most important things that you can learn with heavy clubs they are not the first videos in the series because when we're teaching it this way in this format we want to learn the side swing first so people can work on keeping elbows locked out then we work on the side swing low to high because we want people to learn to use their leg drive and their side hip snap without moving their feet then we go to the inside circle and the outside circle think of the inside circle and the outside circle in the neighborhood of like a hang power clean as a circle once you learn these you will practice these for the rest of your life you can go up in weight and down in weight forever but the most important thing in the beginning is two feet pointed straight ahead and two elbows locked out when you swing across the bottom if your grip is getting tired and you're getting a lot of pain in the palm of your hand and your elbows start to bend put the weight down rest and come back to it when we start to hike our elbows people start to shrug their shoulders they start to cause themselves tension injuries in both their elbow their shoulder and their neck the important part is the extension of the joints we are trying to create traction the club is literally pulling your joint apart your body's job over time is to learn to resist that by using a slightly heavier weight but it doesn't work if you hike your elbows you just end up hurting yourself don't hurt yourself don't hit yourself in the teeth and uh, yeah, keep going.